So hi there YouTube, uh, another episode, um, I think it's episode 5, who knows. Um, well I'm working on the inside now, and these are the inside walls, uh, all made out of um, composite again, uh, glued together and taped up, and uh, that's what this episode is going to be about, so let's get into it. <laughs> So I'm getting set up for the last uh, few internal panels. I've got some of them made already, but I've got a few more to do. And, uh, and also the gluing of them in and uh, taping the seams. So that's what I'm starting on now. I should, be, I should have it done by the weekend. It's Wednesday today. Um, not a lot happening at work, so I'm, uh, I'm doing this. I had a full week last week of maintenance type work and a bit of fiberglass work. But uh, this week there's, uh, there's nothing. It's, that's just Darwin at the moment, things are a bit dead. Um, but I've got plenty to do, haven't I? I've got the uh, hob there. All looking, you know, starting to look sort of finished off. A blue line in the bottom is where I've masked off and I've done some more polyurethane gooping, the last little bit. It's horrible stuff, but it's because uh, it's very sticky, but then that's what you want, isn't it? <laughs> if you're going to stick the panels in you've got to have something sticky so um, polyurethane gap cylinder is the thing but the trouble is it sticks to you, it sticks to your hands, it sticks to your tools, it sticks to everything there YouTube, uh, another episode. Um, I've been away for a week, I was down in, uh, down in Sydney, Sydney, Australia, um, doing some family stuff down there, and um, all the young people around there told me a bit, a bit more about technology, which is always helpful, so I'm on Uber, and um, I'm on Instagram as well now, so if you want to follow me on Uber, just type in um, Expedition, or Wombat Expedition Truck, and you'll be able to follow uh, Insta on that, and uh, get updates and all that sort of stuff um, and if you want to follow my Instagram well I'm not really sure how that works but uh, just stick with Uber I do it works really well for putting pho posting photographs and that sort of stuff um, but uh, in the day we're working on the ins inside walls so I thought I'd have a bit of a talk about the composite um, panels that I build so you know, as I've said before this uh, the pink stuff is XBS high density foam and it's either side on this one this is an internal wall I've got um one layer of uh, 450 gram chop strand with epoxy and on the other side is the same so together um, it's very strong we'll just uh, so a bit of foam normally you know look at that no strength at all and um, four layers of four layers of 450 you know you can flex it um, it's not very strong at all, but uh, both together, this is the same thing, one way out of the other side, 
and uh, you know that's pretty strong really. So those outside panels I've used um, two layers of 450 front and back so well if this bit here you know, is about a mil and a half thick <clears throat> I've got about two and a half three mil thick on the walls both uh, on the outside the floor and the ceiling but got it out of your four mil top and bottom so you know that's really strong really strong um, now inside what you'll see I've done is I put these walls inside as well and um, again taped them glued them and taped them as well and you'll see that in this episode and what it's done is just made those walls and the ceiling the whole thing very rigid so this, the structure is not no longer relying on the, um, uh, the steel frame hopefully the fiberglass paper is now stronger than the steel well, that's, that's what I hope no way of telling so now the basic idea with this build is that I'm building something that's really robust, really strong and it's going to stand up to the, um, these rough roads and you know, rough roads all around the world. Um, it's all for highway uses for when it's being sh shaken all the time. Now, you know, <laughs> if you're in Australia and you've driven any length of time in Australia, you'll, you'll know what happens to caravans on these sorts of roads because every you know, few kilometres you'll pass a wreck of a caravan. Well, this is more built on sort of tran trucking type ideas. Uh, so to form the glue uh, in the um, epoxy resin I'm using fume silica. Uh, this stuff's supposed to form a, a superior bond than using you know, talc or, or you know, microspheres or anything else. Uh, for the fairing of these I'm finding that um, the West 410 Microlite fairing filler is, a, is just fantastic stuff. It's just uh, easy to mix up. Um, unlike microspheres, uh, and easy to sand off, and you know a couple of coats, and you've got a perfectly flat surface. So I like this; it's fantastic stuff. And of course, the uh, the I'm using epoxy resin, super slow epoxy resin from Trojan. They're sort of a mail order crowd in Australia. That uh, seems pretty good stuff. It's a one one to three, um, which is a different ratio than the uh, West system, um, but it's very similar to use to the West system. Uh, and it does what I wanted to do and it's much cheaper than the West system and that's pretty important when you're using the volume that I've used. I've got to put an animal in so uh, this Johnson River crocodile or freshwater crocodile is uh, just the thing he's about two meters long and I, I filmed him going up over the fog dam wall uh, up here in the Northern Territory just uh, an hour out of Darwin. Um, they're funny, funny creatures. They're incredibly slow until they want to be, and then they're incredibly quick. Rather than buying a um, uh, a toilet for the uh, for the pod, I'm, uh, I've decided to make one myself. So I'm using the basic, the separator type toilet, where the solids are separated from the um, the liquids, which is supposed to then the solids comp compost and uh, with very little smell. There's quite a few toilets uh, like this on the market and um, all reports are they work very well but they're fairly simple. It's just a bucket basically with a, a fan to draw the air out away from the living areas and, uh, and um, you empty it out when it's, uh, when it's full. Um, and rather than buying much which is you know a thousand plus dollars um, I've decided to make one, they're very simple. This is the pug, so this is the, I guess, the throwaway side of the mould. So I, I finish this this off and get it ready to cast with. I stick it onto a, um, onto a bed and then cast the fibreglass over the top of that and the fibreglass is what I keep and this is what I throw away. So there's about 20 minutes work on that to, to shape it into the right shape. I've still got a little bit of sanding and filling and to get it looking good but um uh, it'll save me a lot of money um, a little bit of time of course but uh, it should work if it doesn't work I'll have to start again
Thanks very much for watching uh, episode 5 right to the end. Uh, in episode 6 I'm going to be making some of the furniture inside most probably, the seating area, uh, all sorts of little bits and pieces. I'll probably be buying some equipment as well and I may even buy a truck. Uh, 